I have here on this card the top 12 who now will be revealed. We will announce the country and the continent. After the crowning of Miss World, we will announce the continental winners. This will be the highest placed country in that continent. Best of luck, ladies. So, our first semi-finalist is... Jumbo, my name is Maria Wavinya from Nyandarwa and I'm 18 years old. This was very fantastic. My name Wavinya means someone who is strong and I use my strength as my personal drive and as my personal motto that in a very simple way I can touch the heart of the world. We've been to various schools around the country. It's very, very close to my heart. Blue to me is the color of responsibility, love, peace and trust. And to me, wearing the blue Miss World crown means an extension of my love, my peace, my trust, and my responsibility to all the girls around the globe. Right, so Kenya, I've noticed that every time I see you, you're always wearing bright uh, colored beads. They're beautiful, but what inspires you to, to go for that style? You know, my greatest inspiration when it, comes to, when it comes to this came in with one of my trips around Kenya with my Health for Pads initiative for Beauty with a Purpose. And you know, one thing I realized that every single woman, the beads actually represent the value of a woman in my community, and the beads are what makes us stronger whenever we are motivated. And that is why every single day I put on beads to make sure that each and every country seated here with me today is motivated and they see the way forward. Oh, congratulations. I'm sure they're motivated. Thank you. Our second semi-finalist is... Nigeria. Hello, I am Yekati Douglas. I'm 21 years old. I'm a public health student at the University of South Florida and I was born and raised in Port Harcourt. My motto is to spread more love than hate. I believe that love is a solution to all things. That imperfection that someone is telling you is imperfect now mm -hmm. is probably one, going to be one of the things that are making me stand out. I mean, look at me. The fact that I have made it this far, I believe mm -hmm. that anybody can do it. Whether or not I am crowned Miss World, I would love to use this platform that I've been given to be a voice to the community that I'm working with and other communities in Nigeria. I want to create awareness on personal hygiene and I want to be an example for the little kids that live in rural communities. I want them to know that they can be stars regardless of where they've grown up. Thank you. So what happened with the wig? Listen, I had to do that extra power move and then the wig was not supporting, so I had to let it go. That's because you were just too powerful, right? Yeah, yeah the, wig, the wig was, it was like, don't do it, sis. And I was like, you know, I have to, I have to show them who we are. Like, you showed them. Congratulations. All the best. Our third semi-finalist is... Brazil! Hello, my name is Elise Mieli. I'm 10 years old and I'm from Ipatinga. The Miss World, it's not about just the beauty. It's about what you can do with your crown. I believe a loose can change the world. And if I carry humility, practice charity, and are motivated by faith and love, we can build a better future for the nation. And for me, this is the meaning of Miss World. The blue crown has a purpose. And when you understand that, you are ready to change the world. You have the Brazilian family here. 
So you used to wear your mum's makeup as a child. How has her style influenced you? My mother is my is the most important influencing person in my life, and I earned many values with her: humility, gratitude, and unfortunately, she isn't here today. I come from a humble family, and unfortunately, she could be here. But when I arrived in London, she said to me, "Don't worry, don't worry, because I will be there holding your hands." Thank you, Mom. I love you. Thanks, Mom, and congratulations to you. Fantastic. Okay, our fourth semi-finalist is. Mexico! Hello, I'm Ashley Elvidres Estrada. I'm 20 years old studying business administration. I am from El Valle de Juarez. I am proud to be who I am. I believe growing up in a border city has made me the person I am today. Within 15 minutes or 10 minutes of walking, I'm in the US, I walk back, I'm in Mexico. And it has made me see a reality, a vision, further more than what I was. My motto in life is, it's kind of fun to do the impossible by Walt Disney. Ms. World to me means change and hope, from which I wish to become a part of. I am an instrument of God that he knows which hearts he wants me to continue touching and to become the voice of the less fortunate. So you like to do the impossible. What is there left for you to do that you haven't tried yet? Well, I actually just recently tried it. Some people may think it's impossible to learn and know about every country in the world. And I've been blessed to know every single one of my girls and get to know and absorb some of their culture and just get enriched by their sweetness, their encouragement, and just their strength as a woman. So was that harder to do than the zip wire thing? Well, anyway, <laughs> congratulations, you've done fantastic. Thank you very much. I mean, that was pretty tough. Right. Our fifth semi-finalist is... India! Namaste. I am Suman Rao, a 21 years old from Mumbai. And I always believe that when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at also change. And this has really helped me to move ahead in life. Winning Miss World would allow me to extend freedom to other women in my community and all across the world, while ensuring that their relationships with their families and society remain strong. It is this mission and my passion to ensure that my life is about something greater than myself that makes me want to be a Miss World. So, firstly, namaste. Uh, now, you walked Lakme Fashion Week in Mumbai, so what was that like for you? Well, walking at Lakme Fashion Week was a very incredible experience for me because where I come from, women over there, they are not even allowed to walk around on their own. And here I was walking as a showstopper, which allowed me to show women of my community and all across the world that if I can, we all can. Thank you. And you did. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right. Our sixth semi-finalist is... Nepal! I am Anushka Shrestha, 23-year-old banker from Kathmandu. My motto in life is eyes on the prize, feet on the ground, and heart at a happy place. This world really is a platform of making strong bonds, of making networks that really helps each and every one of us and spreading greater positive impact in whatever communities we live in. Winning Miss World to me would mean being able to take the Miss World flag and all that it stands for to the top of the world, the land of Everest. And from there on, utilize it, adding on to the legacy 
of spreading the best positive impact we can within and around us throughout all our world members. So now you're a foodie, right? I'm a foodie. So what would be your favorite meal to cook for me? For you, if you'd asked me this a couple of months ago, I'd say momos. But now I'd say the organic vegetables that we grow at our community project site, the spinach, the potatoes, they're the best. You oh. have to visit me and I'll cook them for you. Can I have momos as well? Yes, you can Thank have the you. best of both worlds. Fantastic, congratulations to you. I'm going for momos. Right. We've met six semi-finalists and we will reveal the seventh semi-finalist. After the break, it's getting tense. Welcome back to Miss World. The atmosphere in here is electric. We've revealed six semi-finalists. The seventh semi-finalist, ladies and gentlemen, is... Say Mabuhai to Philippines! I'm Michelle D. I'm 24 years old and I'm a model and actress in Manila. My motto in life is that everything happens for a reason and that everything that does happen is either a blessing or a lesson. If you want something for yourself, that like you really have to work hard for it. To win Miss World means gaining a platform and gaining a voice that's heard and listened to. I want to become a beacon of hope that influences positive change because I know that with a unified effort, that's when we can really make a difference. A lot of love for you here. How are you feeling? I feel great. Um, it's such a proud moment for me and my country, and I can't be anymore. Excited to be here. Thank you. Says it all. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Philippines. OK, the eighth semi-finalist is... Vietnam. My name is Ling Thuy Luong. Paris. My motto is, success is tumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Becoming Miss World would also be a stepping stone to highlight the deaf community that I come from. The best lesson that being a child of deaf adult taught me is that the barriers of language were not a barrier to sharing because love is a universal language. That is what I want to convey if I am becoming Miss World. Right, so you're apparently brilliant at sign language. Can you give us some? Exactly. Exactly. My mother is deaf, my both parents are deaf, and my mother is just here. So, hi, mommy. I love you, and I love you all. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes, exactly. Right. The 11th semi-finalist is... From Russia with love, Russia! There you are. Hello, my name is Elina Senko. I'm a 20 years old and I'm from a beautiful small town Azov. I have got two passions, the charity and art. I believe Miss Ward is composition of both. I have managed to provide art master classes to children who suffer from serious diseases. And uh, everybody knows that art has great healing power. It distracts from pain and anxiety. My motto is try not to become a man of success, try to become a man of value. You, you really were in shock then, it took you a minute. Can you believe what's happened? 
Oh, I'm so happy. I don't, I can't believe it, really. I, I'm so happy, I'm so thankful, and so grateful for this opportunity. Well, it's very well deserved. Congratulations to Russia, everybody. And the 12th semi-finalist is... You saw her dance and she was great, Cook Islands! My name is Tajia Eka Desahe. I am 26 years old and from Raratonga. My motto in life is to always believe in yourself no matter what. You are capable of anything if you just put your mind to it. When I was 19 years old, I struggled with body issues. It is a very real and sensitive issue that does happen, but most people don't want to address it and talk about it. No. So I took the initiative to study nutrition, health and fitness so I could advise and mentor others. Winning Miss World would mean everything to me. You are able to help others and the world no matter how big or how small. But most importantly, you are able to inspire and empower others to do the same. We knew your dance was good. Congratulations. How are you feeling? I'm feeling beyond happy. This is a true honor for the Cook Islands to be in the top 12. I can't believe it. Very well deserved. All right, guys, well, we are... Uh... Our 12 semi-finalists, one of whom will be crowned the 69th Miss World. But please do not go away. We'll be back. Welcome back to Miss World. Now, this is the moment all these ladies have been waiting for, the crowning moment. With the result, please welcome Chairman and CEO of Miss World, Julia Morley. I shall announce the results in reverse order. For Miss World 2019, in third place is... India. Tony and Singh. 
from Jamaica is crowned Miss World 2019.